are you planning or preparing now to take Cisco Certified Internet Network Expert? If no, why not? Or if not, what is your next certification? Okay, good question. So the answer is yes, absolutely. I want to get to that CCIE plaque. I want to get that number. Um, I actually announced sometime last year after I announced that I quit my job and I'm doing YouTube full-time, I said I am studying for my CCIE. But to be honest, after that announcement, I haven't done much studying at all. Like I've been quite busy. Yeah, <laughs> I, I announced I announced it, but I didn't actually do it, which I'm ashamed of. But Absolutely. I'm going to get my CCIE. Um, the thing is, currently, I'm writing my CCNA book with Manning, acing the CCNA exam. And that is a lot of work. And I really want to get that book done this year so people can have a real, complete, physical book in their hands to study from. So I'm spending most of my time working on that and also making my CCNP course on YouTube for the Encore uh, certification or the Encore exam. Um, yeah, but after I finish the CCNA book, uh, one of my top priorities, or possibly my top priority, is going to be CCIE studies. And I know that's going to take a long time. Studying for the CCIE is not an easy task, I know. Um, I expect I'll probably fail the first attempt. Uh, hopefully not, but we'll see. Um, but absolutely. I think the CCIE is like the gold standard expert level certification in the industry. Like If you have that CCIE on your resume... You can get a job almost guaranteed. Like you know, as long as you're not terrible in the in the interview, you can get a job. Um, it yeah. brings and you just, a lot of opportunities. Absolutely, Definitely. yeah, and not just the uh, resume boost, but I just want the knowledge. Like I want to mm. continue growing. I'm a CCNP now, so I understand networks to some degree, but there's still so much more depth, so many more things that I can learn. So I really want to dig deeper, and I think aiming for the CCIE is a great goal to have to push me to study more and learn more about networks. Okay, this is actually good because I know instructors, once they become popular with their CCNA uh, topics, with their CCNA video, they stop there, right? Or maybe CCNP, yeah. uh, but not CCIE. Now, I'm quite impressed after everything you've done, you would meet YouTube and now your new book, you still want to pursue CCIE, you know, additional knowledge. And yeah, to, to be honest, I don't need a CCIE to do my job, you know. Like now that I'm right. doing YouTube full time, I don't really need to put the CCIE number on my resume, you know. Mm. Um, I could just continue working on and improving, updating my CCNA course, making my CCNP course, and just say I'm done. I don't need to learn anymore. But just personally, I think that it's really important for me to keep learning. Like, I like networks. I like studying them. They're interesting. And yeah, like I said before, the CCIE is just a great goal to have to push me and motivate me to keep learning. Oh, really impressed. What do you think of these people saying that CCIE has lost its value? Do you agree with these people? Um, there is a difference between CCIE 15 to 20 years ago versus now. Of course, there's a difference. But what do you think of its value? Is it really decreasing and decreasing? Because take note, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, the most or the usual path is CCNA, CCNP, CCIE. But now there are too many certifications. There are too many options. Cloud wasn't there before. VMware, or the virtualization type of career, uh, wasn't that popular. Okay, and uh, what else? Cybersecurity, was it really big before? Now, what do you think, again, of those people who are saying CCIE has lost its value? Yeah, so I would disagree with that. Um, well, first of all, 15 to 20 years ago, I wasn't in the industry yet, so I can't speak personally. But I have sort of heard from what other people have said that, you know, back then Cisco was the big dog. Like, I mean, they still are. You know, there are a lot of other players in the game too, like, you know, Palo Alto, Fortinet, and, um, you know, Cloud obviously is a big one. You mentioned that. So, you know, Cisco might not be the top dog, or they are the top dog, to be honest, but not the only, not the only one, the only option. 
Um, but I think the value of the CCIE is still extremely high. Like cloud network, sorry, cloud networking can be very complicated. Oh, um, of course. Yeah. So if you want someone to design your company's cloud network, they have to understand networking really well. Mm. And there's no better proof that you are an expert in networking than the CCIE. So, you know, even if your end goal is cloud, I think that the CCIE is still extremely valuable on your resume. Um, but ju not just on your resume, also because of the knowledge it gives you, because you need that knowledge to build those complex cloud networks, especially like multi-cloud, when you're working with different providers, different solutions, it's really tough stuff. It's really complicated. So you need a deep level of knowledge to do it well. Yeah. And many people doesn't understand like what you mentioned, cloud networking. Cloud networking can be um, setting up your own private cloud. So that's huge data center network design, a lot of spines, a lot of leaf switches. There's also the hybrid cloud where you connect your public cloud to your data center. And it requires tremendous effort, tremendous knowledge and experience into networking. And uh, I, I really believe the knowledge that we will put on in connecting public and private cloud, um, your CCI knowledge and experience will definitely help. Absolutely, yeah. Like designing, if you're designing a network like that, you want CCIEs doing that for you. Like um, CCNP level, it's just not deep enough. Like uh, stuff can get very complicated. So I think um, studying for the CCIE is really gonna help you even in the age of cloud because you know, networking is one of the fundamental skills you need, not just in not just for network engineers, but for IT in general. Right. Well, man, good luck on your CCIE journey. It will be tough, I'm telling you, but it I'm will sure. be fun. It will be fun. Yeah, so, I'm looking uh, forward to it. And right. I'll be sure to announce before I take the exam, and hopefully I'll announce after my successful pass, but we'll see. I'll do my best. All right. Great. Any thoughts and message to our audience, Jeremy? Okay, I want to say uh, thank you to everyone for your support uh, on YouTube. You know, I have a really great community built around my channel. You guys leave great comments all the time. And also subscribe to Dean's channel because I've started watching his content recently. He's got great stuff. Um, he's an expert in cybersecurity, which I'm not so much. So I think it's a, uh, it's a great to sort of branch out and get to know more beyond just Cisco and CCNA. And also I hope you will buy the early access of the book. I'm really working hard to make it as good as it can be. So, um, I really hope you'll buy the book and it'll be very helpful for you in your CCNA journey. All right. Great. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank One you, more. Dean. Sure. For those who haven't followed or subscribed Jeremy's IT Lab and your social media page, okay, please click or follow the link below. Yes, please. Thank you.